Hey garden friends, this is RB the Garden Nanny. I have some things I wanna show you, so come with me. First off is my roses. As you can see, I have a netting over it because the other day I saw a squirrel bending back the roses with his paws and chewing the rose buds. These little buds right here. And I thought, that is the craziest thing I've ever seen. I have never seen that. So I put this uh, <laughs> netting over top to deter, hopefully, a long time, but at least for now, until the roses begin to produce. Um, it's a sad day when you see squirrels eating your roses. This is a rose climbing rose that I purchased last year and um, it's needing to be pruned. I also have one on this side so it is that time of the year. This video shows how I have pruned my climbing rose on this trellis. The main cane is here. It goes up and I trained it to go this way. And the lateral cane will soon have roses on them. I love the fact that buds are forming on here and they will be all across this, just like they are here, all across there. This main cane goes up. I trained it to go this way and the flowers will be on there. Same here, this cane, main cane goes up and I trellised it this way and now they will have roses. It's the same here and it's the same here. So that is really cool. Normally the main cane just goes straight up. You will have some roses like here, you have some on the tips here, but you'll get even more if you train it horizontally. So that is my tip for pruning climbing roses. Roses are looking mighty healthy. I'm so excited about my roses. I am really enjoying pruning the roses and to get results like this. And they are pretty in the front as well. That means they are going to be beautiful. So I cannot wait. I prune these roses as well on this trellis. And look how healthy they look. They look so, so healthy, except for this little piece dangling. But uh, yeah, I am excited about my roses.